हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू दिस रैप अप सेशन ऑफ दिस सीरीज टैंगल्स बाय सीजीटीज वी हैव लर्न क्वाइट अ फ्यू टैंगल्स बट इट्स नॉट पॉसिबल फॉर मी टू कवर ऑल एज आई मेंशन यू कैन ऑलवेज गो टू द वेबसाइट्स लाइक टैंगल पैटर्न्स डॉट कॉम एंड मस्टकवेले डॉट डी एंड चूज टैंगल्स ऑफ योर पैटर्न ऑफ योर चॉइस प्रैक्टिस दम एंड देन यूज इट फॉर योर प्रैक्टिस या uh now uh today is a mini project that we are going to be doing so basically there are whole lot of a uh, floral tangles flower tangles that we use in the tangle and my upcoming series will also be about uh, floral treats right so we will be drawing flower tangles basically with leaves petals on a uh, beautiful watercolor backgrounds so here is a small glimpse and at the same time we'll be learning a lot many floral tangles today and a wrap up today's session yeah so the series actually so this is a watercolor background that i prepared just wet the paper and then use your brush to uh, add any colors of your choice just dab on the uh, paper wet paper and you will see this kind of a background right so i've pasted it on a black sheet and today let's get started with our session uh, i'm going to start with a tangle called by somnus yeah so i'm going to list down all these tangles that we are using today with the name of the cgts at the end of the session yeah so right now let's concentrate on learning how to draw the tangles so let us now start with the first tangle for the day which is called by somnus yes very simple tangle to draw you generally start with a square but even if you don't you can draw it without a square also but the look varies a little bit slightly yeah so i have started with a dot and just like the wells i'm going to add these lines with not too much of a curve slight curve to all the four corners and then you can add further lines in between like this and then you just have to drop lines like this on the previous one right that's the basic of the tangle by somnus you generally add these bands inside the tangle yes and one very nice uh, embellishment for this tangle is generally to add these dotted lines or auras emanating from these petals something like this yeah it really looks very cool so we will draw this pattern first i have shown you the basic how to draw start with a dot draw the wells great draw further lines in between and just drop lines from here onto the previous petal let's start transfer this tangle that we learned on our project yeah so i'm going to first write something uh with my brush pen if you have it handy and you can i will draw it slowly i will write slowly so you can also follow me the way i am writing yeah so let's write magic and then we are going to probably start to tangle yeah so i'm starting with a thin up stroke like this and then bring it down a thick down stroke again take it up thin up stroke again bring it down thick down stroke again a thin up stroke again a thick down stroke that is our m then again i'm going to take it up and then add a oval right and then a down turn again take it up again an oval right so if it is not coming perfect in the first go go back again a downward loop take it up again i and then a thin up stroke and your partial oval 
yeah so that's magic that we created with our brush pen let us now start to tangle so i'm going to start with bisomnus and draw it at different places on my surface so let's get started this is the thicker nib yeah so you can always draw a square with your pencil for reference i'm going to start without it yeah so it will be a little difficult to rotate my tile here but i am going to do that so that my hand is comfortable again i am going to add some further bifurcations there like this yeah and then just start dropping lines not too much of a curve there again you can take it up drop a line you can take it up drop a line you can also add one more here take it up drop a line take it up drop a line you can add one more here take it up right so you can see how i am adding as i draw to give it a nice look and shape yeah so that's a big bisomnus like this yeah and then i'm going to add one more here so i think this needs to be a little smaller so i'm going to start again take your time So you can always start with four and then create further bifurcations whichever way you are comfortable please draw that way no hard and fast rules there just follow the sequence of instructions yeah that's tangled by somnus the basic yeah now you generally add lines thick and thin lines is general way to add lines to bisomnus but you can add lines with weight at the end whichever way you are comfortable just make it your own and you can embellish it the way you wish to so i'm adding some thick lines some thin lines Yeah, like this. Again, continue. So let's do that exercise for all. Do it at your own pace. so the embellishment that is the strands coming out of the petals which i showed to you we will add it at the end because we will transcend it over the rest of our piece yeah so i think that will look nice if it transcends is transcends over the other tangles so i'm not going to add it right now just going with simple bisomnus simple tangle to draw now if you just add aura inside these petals it becomes a different tangle there are so many variations of the same tangle i am just going with one you can choose your favorite yeah so again i'm going to do the same exercise here also or you can add something else for example just add some weight at the end so it becomes a nice variation something like this yeah 
So same dangle, different looks like this. Again I am going to continue the same on the next like this yeah so just take your time do that exercise so I'm almost finishing here on the last petal right so that's our first angle the next flower tangle that we are going to be using is called afterglow yes again we will start with these lines like a star I have drawn these lines yes I will draw it bigger like this and then I am going to connect these lines with a V that's the next step and then I'm just going to aura the outer shape add as many as you wish to it's like a star right and the last step is to connect these wherever there is a curve or turn just connect these turns with a line like this yeah that's simple that's the tangle after glow I'll draw it in front of you again right so let's get started let's start somewhere here a plus sign and a cross connect these with a V and then start to aura you have to be patient as you aura try to make the auras as close it looks nice if the auras are close however it's not a hard and fast rule you can always vary the thickness of the auras the distance between the auras but generally it looks nice if the auras are close yes so you can see how it is turning out beautifully this aura you can draw big ones you can draw small ones so I'm not rotating this piece much but it's better if you're drawing on a smaller surface to rotate take your time and slowly add as many auras as you feel like yeah so I'm going to stop here probably add one more now you just have to connect these lines so up to you how do you want to right so I'm adding these nice fescues as a small embellishment it will add to the look of my tangle I'm just connecting these folds corners where the lines are turning yeah and the last one here 
that's after glow yeah so let's add one more so I'm going to add one more probably here start with a plus sign a cross sign then add those V shapes inside small ones and then I'm just going to follow the same process try and add close auras if you want to add a thicker aura in between add something else in between even if that is possible yeah so let's do that let's play around a little not much since we are learning the tangle so I'm going to add a thicker aura here like this and now if you want you can add orbs I'm just going to add lines so that it looks something like a covert thing yes simple things that you can do to add to the look of the tangle and then again one or two more take your time draw at your own pace no hurry yeah so we have varied the look by adding a small little bit of coffering inside a thicker aura inside you can add any tangle of your choice inside the aura and it will look different So now when I connect the turns I will just connect the outer ones and ignore the inner yeah so let's just add a few more so that it comes close to my bisomness yeah so what I am doing is I'm going to add one more variation one more little embellishment and that is just add flying auras and not complete them completely something like this yeah you can also add some bit of weight at the turnings so small little things just giving you ideas so again I'm adding some incomplete auras there adding some little bit of weight yeah, to not going the entire way the stopping yeah so that's after glow again in a different avatar there right so in between spaces we'll see later what do we want to do yeah so let's move on to the third tangle and that is showgirl so I'm going to start with a square like this let me show you first the basic and then we'll transfer it here start with a small square and then add these nice petal shapes all around and then keep adding auras like this yeah you can add as many as you wish so this tangle is showgirl if you keep the line straight it becomes a tangle called viscous so there are so many other tangles that you can create by just varying the basic strokes yeah so you can add as many auras as you want so let's get started first so again rotate it will always be a good option to rotate 
so once you are done with the basic now start to add auras you can always draw behind then diminish the size of the auras again go to the next then start diminishing the size of the auras then go to the next again start diminishing the size of the auras and go to the next tangled showgirl nice aura based tangle yeah so again i'm going to add a few more so i'm just switching sides you can always add all in one you know one side or whichever way the placement is entirely up to you i'm just again i'm adding one more here right so as i mentioned to you you can always add straight lines also it becomes a nice variation of the tangle and becomes a tangle called biscus again you can add as many auras as you want make it as fluffy flowery as you want and then finally the last one right now if you want you can also add more in between something like this just to weaving them inside a whole lot of things that you can do to add you can place a print on there to look nice yeah you can also place a jockey there to look nice just going with the flow not really thinking where what yeah so we have already done with three flower tangles now moving on to the next let's add a tangle called saturday yeah so saturday is again a kind of a grid based tangle so i'll just show you how to draw the tangle first so i'm going to start with an orb and then place these kind of a c shape all around the orb four or five of them and then connect these ends to the c and then bring it down to the center so they look like folds i am drawing straight lines here but these lines can always be kind of a ruffled or curvy lines and then you just connect these two yeah and it becomes a tangle called saturday again a beautiful flower pattern you can add curvy line here also right so instead of a perfect c you can it can be like this yeah you can add curves here also when you bring down the lines to the center right so let's add one or two saturdays also yeah probably i'll add one here so start like this and then add some curvy c shapes the kind of distorted c now not the perfect c's yeah and then just connect 
the ends to give the effect of folds and then you can bring it down need not be perfectly straight after all they are petals adding some etching at the same time take your time yeah again bring it down you can also ink this space if you want let's see if you want to done with that and now i'm just going to connect these also kind of petal kind of shape like this and then probably you can add some bit of etching there i would prefer inking it to add some bit of drama angle pattern saturday yeah so you can create as many variations as you want to this is just a simple version with some bit of enhancement here and there take your time do it at your own pace so till now we are just adding flowers yeah without leaves so we'll do that later so lot of spaces actually this tangle gives you some bit of opportunity to add some more tangles yeah so there are spaces here so now you can just go a little free go creative use some more tangles yeah So let's see. I've just added a few mocha there, and we'll see if we want to add something else. So probably some more here. Not thinking much about the placement. is going with the flow adding some bit of flux here and there looks nice along with mocha some bit of drawing behind there yeah so done with that small embellishments we will do later first let's add another flower tangle probably the next tangle that we will go with is called tangular yes tangular blooming tangular is a tangle by thomas pedros and it is very simple to draw nice filler tangle so i'm just going to add some v shapes like these yes i'll just show you once v shapes aura one side again v aura one side again v is like the way you draw triply just that the third side of the triangle is missing here and then add a triangle and then just add some inking at the end so this looks like a flower a triangular flower
can add anything inside like this yeah simple to draw looks pretty nice after shading also so I'm going to start here continue again the V shapes like this then add a nice inverted V and just add these smaller triangles at the ends just like we do for a tangle called tissue have I done that tangle? I don't think yeah so many more tangles that you can explore so that's a small blooming tangular yeah so I'm going to add some more of these probably as fillers wherever you feel like they are small they can be accommodated anywhere you can also draw big ones again the same exercise yeah so just floating around in the air I'm going to add one here yeah 